um, hello everybody <clears throat> and uh, welcome to today's Venus Expressions meeting. Thank you all ever so much for coming. Um, ben and I will be um, just just hosting today's meeting on, on behalf of Alfred, who um, who is the uh, team coordinator. Uh, I'm the music department project manager, and I'll just be basically uh, reading through the notes that Alfred has given to me for the meeting. So I'll just get those now. Uh, what we did last time, what would be nice to do again, maybe, is if we all just briefly introduce ourselves and um, say what we do within Venus Expressions Media. And um, if um, anyone who hasn't already done so, um, it would be really nice if you could change your username by right click to, to your real name, so just so we all we'll know, you know, who we're talking to. So yeah, so I'm uh, Sheena Bratt, I'm in England, and um, yeah, I... Uh, I work in the, in the music department as project manager, uh, and I'm involved in some other ways as well in the Venus project. Okay, no, John, Ben. Yeah, hello. Uh, I'm uh, currently coordinating the film department of the Venus Expression Media. Um, I'm working on video introductions at the moment. I've got some other projects going on: um, uh, logo animations, logo designs, um, the um, misconceptions animation. And I'm looking for people to actually uh, participate. So, yeah. Okay, thanks, Ben. Maybe, um, maybe later on we could talk about that more and see if there's anybody that wants to volunteer to help with what you need help with. Um, okay, Mark. Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Mark Spagnolo. I also go by Mass Appeal, and I'm focused on creating hip hop with informative hip-hop basically trying to inform my listeners on what it is we aim to do and the principles behind it yeah i'm for, from the german activism team i'm coordinating that um and also trying to help in every other team i can and that's the reason also why i'm here um yeah just listening and trying to comp contribute in every way that's possible for me fabulous daniel thank you joe Hi everybody, my name is Joe Park. I'm with the Media Contacts branch of Venus Projects Activism and I am here participating any way I can. I'm taking the minutes notes for one thing and I'd like to hear what's going on. Thank you. That's great Joe, thanks. Um, Okay, Marcus. Uh, since John is, uh, I'm Marcus. I'm 33. Looking to get started in writing or whatever I can do, just investigating, and we'll take it from there. I um, maybe I get some ideas, some short stories, and um, I tend to write some poetry sometimes of a political nature. Fantastic. Thank you, Mike. Hey everyone, I'm Mike. Um, I'm kind of, this is like my first meeting in the Venus Expression uh, channel, so I'm not really working on anything particular related to the Venus project, but I am doing my own uh, personal project. Uh, it's a webcomic, but I won't, go, I won't go too much into it. So, nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you too. Okay, no, okay, suck it. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm Sakit from uh, India. I've been working on, on uh, Venus comic script lately. Uh, I had applied for the project on uh, the, to Alfred, and I've just posted a video, uh, a comic introduction video, on Facebook group, Venus Expressions group. So everybody can check that out. Thank you. Fantastic. Thanks a lot, everybody. Okay, so... Um, Maybe Sean wants to say a few words. Ah, uh, well spotted. Thank you. Yes, Sean. Hi. I'm sorry, did I, did I key up? Um, hi, Sean, writing team. Let us know if you want to write anything, but uh, uh, I don't have anything intelligent to say, so I'll just wait. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. That's great, yeah. Yeah, um, I... 
there was uh, I think it was Marcus who was interested in some writing. Um, okay, yeah. And and just as a side note, um, people that have mentioned uh, making music, um, if, you know, uh, if they have music that they'd like to submit, then uh, feel free to get in touch. Okay, uh, onwards then. So the agenda here. Um, th thanks very much, Alfred, for uh, sending this over to me. So the first point on the agenda is that there's um, there's an opening, basically, um, a project manager opening um, slash quality assurance team. And um, this is to do with print media, news media, music department. And the basic requirements um, are that they must, uh, the person must be easily reachable on a daily or a weekly basis through either email, Skype or on Facebook and they must be easy to contact and able to respond back in a timely manner. Um, a resume is preferred but not required. So there's some other, some other points about the um, opening there. Uh, the applicant would need to be able to work well with others and have a professional, uh, to be professional and friendly uh, and have uh, good communication skills, both written and verbal, and have a well-mannered attitude, and we must be able to organise projects and shows and meetings. So, um, what we can um, mention <coughs> is that it's one manager for quality assurance team, uh, one for print media, one for news media, and one for the music department. I'm not sure if I understand music department, because I thought that's what you're doing, Sheena. It is, um, but uh, I guess I've you know I've I've just recently um, become music uh, sorry media contacts project manager. So any help would be uh, gratefully appreciated. And as Alpha just put there, we can have more than one. So I'd be happy to um, certainly you know work with someone on that, um, or or even hand it over to devote more time to media contacts. Hey, uh Sheena, actually, this is something I'm somewhat working on already. Um, more, I'm generally focused in trying to attract other hip hop artists to have a more intellectual fan base. I could say. Um, I don't know how many of you actually listen to hip hop, but not all hip hop listeners are what you see in mainstream. So there is a wide variety of hip hop listeners that we can reach with this message and. I've been trying to reach some of these artists who have that fan base. That's fantastic, Mark. It really is. Um, uh, you know, it's wonderful. And feel free to 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 apply um, for that position. The, the more help, the better, really, with reaching out to people. And um, I, I wish I had more time to devote to to doing what you're doing. But obviously, with my media contacts. Um, I, a lot of my time is used up in that. Um, so yeah, feel free, feel free to apply for that. So yeah, as as Ben. Uh, yeah, Sorry, Matt. Uh, um, well, I don't want to. I'm I'm going to school and I work full time and I I devote as much time as I can to this and I wouldn't want to, uh, you know, not be able to devote the amount of time necessary to accomplish what it is that you just outlined. I I sort of. I'd like to see maybe a written description of all that, and uh, maybe I could go through it and see what I can contribute to that. Okay, that sounds wonderful. Yeah, I can. Um, we can pop the link in, can we? Um, I am um, Alfred. Is this um, is this vacancy listing, or are these vacancy listings on the uh, VEM Facebook group page? Okay, sounds good. Shoot me over the link whenever. Sorry, Mark? I was just saying to Alfred that whenever it gets up, go ahead and just shoot me over the link and I'll go through it and uh, apply if I feel like I can, you know, handle it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, we, we completely understand that everybody's busy. I completely empathize, you know, a lot of people have got jobs and stuff and are studying as well. And, you know, we understand that people can only do as much as they can do. I myself, I've got two very young children. One's one and one's two, <laughs> and we just do what we can. You know, there's no pressure. So, so thanks, you know, all of you for your help. And um, um, yeah, yeah, we'll. Um, I can, 
I can actually copy and paste this text now in the box if for people that are interested. Um, just to clarify, Alfred, the three positions that are open, there's um, the quality assurance project manager, or is that is that part of the same thing? Is it project manager stroke quality assurance for the print media, the news media, and the music department? Or is one of them quality assurance team? Uh, I, I'd also add that I'm actually going to school and I'm studying um, music and audio. So within the next year or so, I will be improving my own quality as well as being able to assess the quality of others much more uh, efficiently. That's wonderful. That's great. Um, so thanks, Alfred. The quality assurance details will be posted on the site later. Um, the same requirements. So are there four positions then, Alfred? Yes, okay, that's wonderful. So just to just to clarify, there's a, there are project manager openings for the quality assurance team, print media, news media, and the music department. So feel free to um, feel free to think about if any of you would like to apply and, and do so. If so, I'll just copy and paste this text in the box now. So if anyone's interested in these positions, then um, if you want to speak now and ask about it, yeah, just do so before we move to the next um, topic. And then, uh, if there are no more questions about the um, um, the openings, so presumably, Alfred, for people who, who would like to apply for any of these positions, the best thing to do is to email yourself, preferably with a resume, but not necessarily. So um, if that's the case, would, would you like to just pop your email address there in the box, Alfred, so that people know who to apply to? And we'll move on to point in the agenda. OK, great. So, the project management system overview. You created a project or you are a member of a project, you can select it as your current workspace. Uh, a workspace defines your current focus or area of activity, meaning that everything you do right now will be associated with the project you have selected. Uh, for example, tasks that you create are automatically connected to the workspace you have selected. And also, you will only see tasks of the workspace you have selected. So, your current workspace is reflected by the breadcrumbs and the workspace select list on top of the page. Um, so, uh, we'll ha uh, yeah, we'll have a quick look there and familiarise ourselves with that. So are there any questions about that at the moment, or does that all seem quite clear to everyone? I'll just say a few words. Um, yeah, so basically at the moment there are four projects that have been created. Um, you can request to join it, and basically that's a good way, a good platform for sharing files, uh, setting up deadlines, and uh, getting to do some proper teamwork, so we have a proper, like, uh, um, well, to be well organised, basically, it helps a lot. Fabulous. Thank you, Ben. Um, and thank you, Alfred, there, yes. Um, so, yeah, um, the YouTube channel that Alfred just kind of popped the link up there to, youtube.com YouTube slash user slash project fork. Um, if, you, if you would like to look at the videos there about project fork to learn how to use the system, um, Watching all the tutorials there will be very helpful in learning how to use it, um, so we can, we can educate ourselves. <laughs> Sorry, I think it might be worth mentioning, there is a tech support that's now up, um, that Andrew told me about, and you can find it on the main TVP website uh, if you have any questions about project board, for example, that you can't seem to find the answer for. Fabulous. Great. Thank you. Okay, so if there's no questions about that, we'll move on to the next point on the agenda. And this is to do with project proposal overview. Um, we've got a summary here. 
and it says all media project proposals must be submitted to expressions at thevenusproject.com or they can be announced during a Venus Expressions media meeting. For example, this one. So um, I'll, I'll pop the email link there uh, in the box in a second. Um, you must go through the following steps for your media project to be approved. Firstly, you need to write out an outline of the project, then submit your project to exp expressions at thevenusproject.com. And you need to have or get at least one or two volunteers helping you with the project um, and to be able to manage the resources, the recruitment, the tasks and the meetings needed for this media project. So yeah, you can have additional project managers other than yourself. So I'll pop the email address in now. Question. Fire away. How long does the outline have to be? I think there's no set um, length how long it needs to be. Or I would imagine. I, I would imagine as long as it details the essential information of what the project um, is going to be and what it's for, its aims, uh, etc. Then you know that would be enough. Um, Alfred, obviously, this is this is your. Um, <laughs> this is your side of things. Maybe you can answer that better. So I just get a very quick, very simple for something. Okay, so you just project proposals in a minute. So are we we're leaving that um till the open forum at the end there, Ben? Uh, yeah, you know, well, it's actually part five of the, the agenda. I, I, anyone can propose a, a project and then later we have a discussion. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so a basic outline about the project. Introduction, summary, objectives, etc. So I wouldn't imagine it would have to be anything particularly lengthy. I don't think it would need to be a a really, really long document, just a, an overview. Any more questions about that? Nope. Oh, okay, okay. How long are these meetings usually? The meetings, uh, um, it takes normally about an hour, maybe sometimes a little longer. Okay, so we'll move on to the point on the agenda. Teams, introductions, uh, introductory script overview. So for those of you that don't know, we are, um, the, this team is making uh, intro videos for the different teams that work in the Venus Project. So the content, we've got the content list here for what needs to be in those videos. So number one, uh, what is the team? Who is or who are the point or points of contact for the team? What is their email address? What are the projects? Who is managing the projects? How can people participate? And what tools do the project team use? And then um, registration, the design, database, etc. Um, and the number three latest technology video section. Um, maybe ben or Alfred, you can expand on that a little. Okay, great, John. Sorry, what? We were. We were just talking about the um, the team's intro script overview. We were just discussing the content that's that's required for those scripts. Uh, and I just wondered if there's anything that you wanted to, to add to that. Um, so I, I thought point one, that there's lots of info there. And then point two, registration, design database, etc. Is there anything else that you wanted to, to, to add to that? I, I you're missing me with point one and point two. Like, what does that mean? Oh right, sorry. It's um, so yeah. In the uh, 
in the agenda item that is about Teams intro script overview. It, it, point one was just um, the, the content, the, the what is the team, who is or are the point of contact for the team, uh, their email address or, or addresses, and the projects, who is managing the projects, how can people participate and what tools do the project team use. Um, right. And then... I was, um, I was just, just re-I re, uh, don't know, explaining that uh, at the end of July is when the lectures and presentations team create a global activism team script and we put all these things in mind, you know, how do we want the layout and how do we want to be able to send it to the expressions team so it's efficient and so the steps are repeated so when a new script comes in there are norms and therefore increasing efficiency as far as production of of new videos and and these types of things and um, so I was just reminding Alfred that I had, I had sent this uh, along and then I resent it and I it's not like doctrine it's not it should be this way but it's just a good example to work off of and it progresses from introduction definition uh, what it is and uh, how to get involved you know exactly what you're saying and it'd be good to if, if you guys look at this and see this script if you like it or if you can fix it change it up to what you would like I would like feedback on that so we can kind of uh, begin to form norms of consistency so uh, the next script you get will be you know along these same lines so everything becomes a little bit more efficient overall and so I just need that feedback or you just need to look at also that's wonderful. Uh, where can we find that at? What do you mean? The, yeah, the, the, web. the, the expressions team currently has it. Maybe we could do, uh, um, do a document on, is it minus.com? Is that the one, Joe, that you referred me to yesterday for that, um, for that letter? That's put correct. it on the That's website, fun. Google Docs, put it on Facebook, something. Just upload it to minus.com. It will take care of it all. Right. Well, okay. okay. Yeah, Alfred, I agree with you. Um, so, and you guys just want to have an example of like, uh, like a tiny outline that says, you know, this is the format that would be most efficient at this time, you know. And yeah, it's exactly what Sheena was saying. But uh, I just want to know if you guys had looked at it, if there's any feedback, or right. if you. Um, if it is a good way to go about it, because we are creating more scripts, you know, and I would like feedback on that. Well, uh, sorry, yeah, um, I'm actually working on the Venus Expression Media video introduction at the moment uh, that uh, Alfred started. And uh, basically, these videos, um, I don't feel like it's a good thing that everybody does one because um, we lose consistency. Um, so if people are actually interested in working on these videos, um, uh, uh, with the Project Fork, it would be quite an easy platform to actually share ideas, documents, files, and everything related to, to actually making those videos and actually make something that coincides together. <laughs> you can't have like one video that doesn't look at all like the next one. You, have, you need some consistency, and I think that's the best way to achieve it. Fabulous. So, um, so people should contact you, Ben, should they, if they're interested in uh, getting involved with making videos, I imagine, if you're the... Yeah, uh, contact me and also um, I've st started some discussions on, I, I, I've actually not started one for the, these videos, so, um, let me, I'll have to double check that. Um, yeah, uh, that I'll, I will start a, a discussion on the, the, on the Venus Expression Media um sites and uh, also contact me and check uh, and then we, we will add you to the project fork so you can actually access the files do some work on it and we can actually keep track of what everyone is doing in, uh, at a certain and so people can actually pick up easily uh, someone else's work fabulous that's great i've got that document alfred was there anything do you want me to um do you want me to read anything from that, or is it just for my information at the moment? Uh, by the way, Sean, what was that you wrote on, in the chat, TVP 25% and all that? I, I, it's just a progress estimation. 
uh, TVP, is that the one for the main site in general, the, the promo video for the new website? Oh, nope. I, I did not provide good context. I'm sorry. Um, no, this is this is actually a list of lectures to be, that need to be worked on or written. And the lectures are not too far removed from the scripts, you know, and the presentations are not there. It, everything is going to cross over, you know, uh, a lot of the nearly all the information will. So it's not too far uh, to say, but these are work working on lectures an introduction to TVP. What is TVP? What is TVP writing? What is TVP marketing? So um, they're generally one and the same. So if you guys were to churn out uh, TVP linguistics script tomorrow, it'd be really nice if I could have it and then I could use that to turn it into a lecture or presentation also very quickly. And vice versa. Question. When you say linguistics, you mean semantics, like the meaning of words and so on? No, I mean what is the the Venus Project's linguistics team? What is the Venus Project's writing team? What is the Venus Project? Oh, I mean, different languages then. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it explains what the team is, how to get involved, who to contact, you know, uh, the different ways you can participate in all this stuff. Or it's basically the baseline of what we're doing. We're still building foundational blocks of this entire activism. We just now got the new website up. We just now got TVP structured. Now we need to be able to explain what we are uh, as far as our tools and our foundational stuff. Okay, so just so I understand, you need um, you need scripts for videos, or I'm not sh I'm not sure I understand. Oh, I swore you guys you guys just talked about scripts for videos. Uh, yeah, we were just explaining what the script um, for the the intro, the video intros for each team, what I mean, the layout basically is of, uh, which is pretty much the same for each video. That's but yes. we were not okay. actually saying that we were going to write it ourselves. It's the writing team that actually does the the scripts. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It, the scripts are to me to to essentially be made first and. I suppose if it is our job as writing to make scripts, then we need to know what you guys want to make as far as videos. Uh, it's confusing. It's a back and forth thing. <laughs> Not sure uh, how it will work out. It's all good. I'm sure it will be perfect. <laughs> Don't you think you should like set out a structure for videos rather than worrying about scripts? What do you I think. I think, well, I'll give you a quick response for that. The, the, one of the purposes for a script is for easily, easy, easy, easy understanding and comprehension and therefore easy approval. So uh, would you rather put hours and hours into a video for it to not be approved because it's not doesn't have one content or another, or would you rather just write up a script, goes up for approval, comes back down, and you have a 90 some odd percent uh, confidence that your video that you're going to turn out according to the script the is going to be... Saying. Didn't get that, Marcus. So I understand what you're saying, but don't you mean you want to have a structure for videos, not just a script? Like the video has to be this long, you talk about this for that long, um, and so on. Well, we do we do for certain videos. I mean, for example, these videos that we're talking about, the intro videos, they're, they're about three minutes long. Uh, with a script that they have, it's basically goes over and, and the content is uh, Quite specific, you can't really go too much out of line. Um, you just, um, I mean, for these videos, straightforward. You just have to explain uh, where to find things, to show um, quick descriptions of what the team is, where to find I things. I thought you were videos in general. What? I thought you were talking about videos in general, not the not the introduction ones. Well, about all the videos, it depends. Why? Because, uh, for example, there's a there's a, like an animation project, and uh, this one's um, you, you started. Uh, you, we um, we presented the project to TVP, and then while they accepted it, um, there's some things that needs to uh, to go through the writing team. Because anyway, I mean, it's quite it's not easy to actually write yourself a script, so you need people that can, can actually write to help you with that. Can I can I say something here real quick? Uh, also, I think I don't know how many other 
um, members we have that are actively participating. But since we are still so few, we probably should focus on specific things first, like the introductory videos, and get those done before we start going all over the place. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what we're doing at the moment. But um, actually, I mean, we we've done only one, and Michael did it with actually rocks, and um, it was about to do the whole website, uh, new website. And uh, but now we're doing all the others for the, for each individual team, and that's our way. And uh, Alfred started working on it, and I and I did some work on it. But apart from us too, I mean, people have volunteered, but they didn't actually come back. So if anyone's actually interested in, in actively helping us, we we welcome we welcome anyone really. Sure, sure. As far as like video layouts and stuff like that go, they're all going to be have different, you know, relative requirements, you know. The introductory videos for the website, if somebody is interested in the writing team, it would behoove us to make a two to five minute video instead of a 30 minute video because people would be more likely to uh, to watch this, you know. And then if it's a, a, a much more in-depth type of thing, you know, it behooves us to make a longer type of thing. So it's not uh, the layout for the videos themselves are going to change according to the need. I think we can move on to the next um... Um, next point. Yes. Fabulous. Okie dokie. So within the point about intro script video, um, Alfred here, you've mentioned uh, registration, uh, d design database, etc. and latest tech vid section. Is there anything that you wanted to mention further about that or are we going straight on to project proposals? Okie dokie. Fabulous. Project proposals then. Okay. Um, and here's the part where we talk about our ideas for future projects. If anybody's got anything to, to suggest, <laughs> is that what happens here? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I had a TVP project, comics project in mind. Uh, I have uh, just posted an introductory video on Venus Expressions Facebook group. So I think that will uh, cover the most of the introductory part and I've also pasted a sample script which some India chapter folks have designed. So I think that would help for the comics project. That's wonderful. Thank you ever so much. That, that, that's fantastic. Uh, I, I've seen some people discussing in the forum the other day about remixing and remastering some of Jacques old uh old lectures and that'd be something I'd like to participate in in the future but uh, to do that I would need some technical knowledge and I, I don't have that just yet okay no problem Mark we appreciate yeah we really appreciate your offer of help and uh understandably you know sometimes we need to learn skills before we can assist with things but it's great <laughs> it's great that you want to thank you skill required might be offered at TBP University. In fact, perhaps someone could pass that along to uh, Andrew or whoever's in charge of that new project. Yeah, great idea, Joe. I think Julie has been working on that for, for a while, I, I think. Yeah, definitely, that's, that's, a, that's a great idea. This kind of technical skills be really handy. Yeah, I was just wondering if somebody else was actually already working on that. I have a very quick idea. Um, if I could assemble like a database of like how to grow certain fruits and vegetables, certain you know um, weather requirements, soil, and so forth. Sorry, would you like just repeat that? I didn't quite catch your idea. A database, a guide to growing fruits and vegetables. You know. Uh, Climate required, soil, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Like a basic horticulture guide or something. A basic what? Sorry. Horticulture guide. Is this like something you want to make to educate people? Yes. 
like in what form? Like in form like a movie? Right, because I mean, I don't know if you looked at the uh, news project website there. They've got some databases about a lot of things. So, uh, is it something that you will actually expand? Maybe. Yeah, well, feel free. That's so the sort of projects we would do in the Venus Expression Media, really. Um, but I mean, you're welcome to actually contact them and see if you can help. Them. Yeah, that might be more in the. Um... I don't know, is that more of a, a, a tech area or something maybe, do you think, Ben? I'm not too sure, actually, uh, who would do that. Um, if anyone has an idea of who would actually do that, maybe, yeah, maybe tech team. Yeah, it might be a, might be a tech research area, I'm not entirely sure, but... Um, uh, I guess we can find out. <laughs> the database is something that is currently being worked on. We just really haven't even started to begin the, like, to decide on a format yet. But that is something that I would recommend talking to Andrew Buxton or Craig Arroyo. Yeah, I think that would be best, yeah. Yeah, like, um, was it Sean, was it you that was saying before? We we just we're still kind of early days with the whole um you know the whole global activism and and, and everything so um it's it's a work in progress <laughs> we're getting there Sean were you listing that as an example uh that list you you listed in the chat yes Yep. Um, just like uh, it was uh, time for project ideas. I just thrown that in there. Okay. Thank you. I, I was interested myself in um, how to go about formulating a lecture because I would like to start, you know, informing people on the college campus, but I'm really not sure how to beat on that. Yep. And well, in short, uh, we're sitting around talking, having many meetings about lectures and presentations, and uh, the intent is to be able to push this content and these videos out to global activism teams so that they can use it to uh, accurately represent TV TVP. You know, that's, that's the overall intent, and there's some other uses of it too. But anyway, with that in mind, uh, it comes down to, okay, well, what if, you know, a person doesn't even know how to lecture, doesn't even know how to present, or... Uh, and we're here to be educating people, so why not make a video or lecture or presentation about making a video or lecture or presentation? It's It sounds a little bit ridiculous, but it's really appropriate. No, I agree. I agree. Yeah, it sounds like a great idea. Um, I'm just wondering, is everyone familiar with the groups page on the Venus Expression Media uh, website? Because I'm feeling like um, uh, not many people have actually joined the, the groups, so um, the discuss, I mean, you won't be aware of any discussions over there, so it'd be great if you are interested in any of the departments or even many departments to actually join the groups. Yeah, good point, Ben. Um, I think the TVP page is kind of a lot more active than the expressions page. So yeah, I think uh, that's something that will uh, that's bound to take off. I'm sure it will get really busy over there. <laughs> cool. So, um, are there any more project ideas that that anyone's got? Nutrition. I'm not sure if it would constitute as a media project, but as you all may or may not be aware, there are thousands of people actively protesting. And I, if I personally, I think if we can inform them, there will be many who will be uh, enlightened and drawn to what we're trying to do. I don't know how we can go about doing that media wise. Maybe we could create some videos. Make a video. Yeah. Yeah. 
Do you mean um, a, a video specifically targeted to uh, the, the people protesting? No, just about nutritional advice or something. I don't know. I, I do, yes. I mean, to um, try to inform them on how... Uh, you know, de did, maybe. And on how, how dethroning the people in power is really not the way to go about getting the change that they seek. Because they actually seek... They, they say, ex say that they seek exactly what we're trying to create, so... Yeah, there's a there's an interesting blog post that Andrew Buxton um, posted. I don't have the link right now. Anyone feel free to add it if they um, if they've got the link. Um, yeah, like uh, you know, he he talks about how what what they're doing um, isn't necessarily the best way to, to achieve um, what 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 we want. And I guess what we're doing here um, it, it, with the Venus Project, what we're all giving up our, our time for you know we feel that this is perhaps the best way of going about it you know over on the media contact side of things we're we're sending out emails to um jack, jack and roxana doing interviews and uh, you know tv and, and we're aiming for for mass media exposure yeah. um to to inform large numbers of people so to trying to i mean our projects are based on actually spreading it the idea uh, yeah, gotcha. is we'll just an aspect. Mind, I actually uh, did read that blog that Andrew wrote, and um, I thought it was a great idea. I don't know if we have any flyers available anywhere because I know that they will be doing one of these protests close to where I live, and I'd like to get out there and, and hand out some flyers that are informative and uh, maybe try and reach some of the people. I think, I think, go on, Ben. <laughs> Uh, I was just going to say that's a good idea. It's just if anyone wants to uh, spend some time and go speak to these guys. And, uh, I don't know if you guys were here at the Q&A. Dr. Prescott did say that uh, it's, it's actually good to, to go and speak to them, to talk about the shortcomings of the system, and actually talk about the solution that we uh, Venus Project is offering. Uh, protest, but not protesting as such, really. The thing with them, I'm encountering a lot of... Uh misconceptions and they're they're quick to to label us and 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 fear us as some sort of new world order or that we're trying to you know off people or something like that but why why where are those misconceptions coming from though they're probably coming from a fear right from a fear of of uh of somebody taking control or, or not having enough control themselves over over the whole thing so maybe we should be addressing that fear more and explaining more about how things are run, right? How it works in practice. Yeah, I think it's um, that the, I know that there is um, a project going on about the, the misconception videos um, and, and, you know, it, it's great to get out there and, and talk to people and, and make sure that we're as educated as we can be about what the Venus Project is and what it isn't, so that when we talk to people, we're giving out the right idea. So, yeah, feel free to get out there and talk to as many people as you can about it. I know I do. <laughs> yeah, I, I talk about it constantly. Um, the question I have is, does, does anybody know if there is actually a flyer already made that's, um, you know, officially and approved by the Venus Project? for something like this? I don't think there is. No, I think uh, the resources that, that we have are being um, used in other ways that have been deemed to be more, what's the word? Um, uh, I don't know, productive maybe. I think with flyers, people have found that there's, uh, you know, it, it can end up costing a lot of, of money to print them off and it, it can end up not having as much impact as as it might have been thought. So as far as I know, there aren't actually any any flyers, no. Okay, well, and I, I'm just trying to figure out maybe the best course of action to take here, but uh, yeah, we can move on now. Absolutely, Daniel. I'm just reading what Daniel wrote there. Um, 
And I remember seeing a post about that on the Venus Project Global page, the, the official Facebook page, the, the like page. Um, yeah, that, that's definitely um, something that's a, a very good idea. Yeah. Maybe that's something that, um, that we can all think about, you know, way, ways to, the best ways to reach, you know, reach reach people that you, I know I can understand how you're feeling you've got a, a load of protesters nearby and you're kind of bursting to get out there and uh, yeah I, I know what you mean <laughs> well um I know Jack Fresco does send I mean get some videos well the Venus Project gets some videos out of Jack Fresco almost like every month uh, last time it was uh, uh last September well 11th of September uh, about a special uh, specific topic may um I don't know if he's got if one of these videos actually talks about this issue, and if not, then maybe uh, someone could just contact TVP and said that if you could address that um, that issue, and then so we can actually share, link it to uh, send it to anyone. It's it's uh, I'm more like wondering how we as as those who are active can go about taking action and trying to get some inform some of these people because they a lot of them are just looking for direction they're you know and i i think that they would be willing to work with us towards this end yeah, well you can, what you can do is just go and talk to them and actually just point them at the, the website or future by design say if they've not heard of it and if if they have, tell them that we, we are active and we're trying to get the word out and we're actually working on the solution that most of, most of these guys actually don't really have. They're just pissed off at the system. They don't know where to go. Right, that sounds good. Fantastic. Yeah, and, and thank you. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, open discussion. Um, does anybody have anything that they wanted to to bring up at the meeting that we haven't uh, covered? Nope. Okay, cool. So um, I guess we can stop taking notes there then, Joe. Sorry, I'll just make a last uh, request. So yes, if you are interested in any of the projects, um, we we'll check out always the discussions on the Venus Expression Media website, and then we are putting out uh, projects on there. And uh, all the help is welcome. Um, well, when I'm talking about help at the moment, I would need the help with the music, uh, sound effects, compositing, uh, while well, script writing. I think we could uh, have, yeah, we need some help on that, and all the other aspects really of uh, making uh, movies, animation, and all that. Really. So, if you can help, uh, just uh, contact me or write on the discussion, and we'll get back to you. So we're going to discuss next week. Post production, yeah, too. Sorry, who's? Uh, I I see you, you you shy. What? Is that how you say that? You shy? Uh, yeah, we next were. Next week. We were uh, discussing earlier the um. The production that we were talking about in the forum about mixing and remastering. Well, post production, I, I would need. Uh, I mean, there there are some stuff in, that can be done in post production that would polish some of the work. So yeah, um, but I mean, any help uh, on the media side is uh, welcome. Uh, do you want to say something, Marcus? So we're going to discuss next week. I guess the next thing will be in a couple of weeks, I imagine, that we normally have um, so bi 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 weekly meetings and um, Alfred will uh, compile the agenda um, for that nearer the, to the time, I imagine. Is that right, Alfred? Do you have a forum uh, section or...? A what section, sorry? Forums, you know. Forums. Oh, the website or the, the other one, the media expressions. Okay, so we have discussion boards, but not forums, and the community talking area. 
So there's places where you can go and, and there's a global, there's a new group actually that I saw very recently um, on the um, on the TVP activism site and that's like a global brainstorming group for any any ideas for things that we can do, new things. And Joe's popped the links there to the Venus Expressions Facebook group where there's quite a bit of um, discussion and ideas and people generally assisting each other going on. So a couple of places there where you can network. Are, are you... Um, uh, are you a member have you, uh, of the um, TVP activism site, Marcus? Um, have you uh, registered there? Oh, I got um, just trying to find my way around the website and all that. Yeah, it's a huge site. <laughs> well, welcome <laughs> and thanks for signing up. <laughs> We've had a lot of people sign up in quite a and short got, space of time. So. The expressions website as well. Maybe I should sign up for that as well. Didn't catch that. Maybe I should register for the TVP Expressions website as well, the community section. Well, I think all you have to do is register on the, the main website and then use the same login on every website. Okay, so it's transferred um, across websites or something? Yeah, they're all Yeah, when you register on the the main one, you you can use the same login for all of the three websites that are all linked together. Okay, cool. So, anything else anybody wanted to discuss in the open discussion section? Thank you, everybody, for your time. Um, I think we got that one done uh, quite quite efficiently, so well done everyone. <laughs> and uh, thanks ever so much for joining us today and all your ideas and all your help and everything. And um, I'll look forward to um, seeing you next time. Thanks everybody. Um, um, if you have any questions and if you're lost and you don't know where to find something, just contact us, um, me, Alfred or Sheena or even anywhere else, anybody's got people to help. Uh, uh, I know it's, it's sometimes a bit hard to actually keep up with what is going on, so don't hesitate to ask. See you, everybody.